boss. Or the Atari 2600. This is a really cool homebrew game. There was an Indiegogo campaign that was done a few years ago on this that I participated in. Yes, I've had this game for a while. I'm just now getting to it. Yeah. Life gets in the way. <laughs> but it's pretty cool. Uh, basically, it's a game that where you only fight these big bosses. Uh, it's a really cool bullet shooter game for the 2600. It's a lot of fun to play. I've really enjoyed playing this game. And I love the box art on this game. This cover, this would make a great t-shirt. It's a really cool looking cover. Done by Gemini and Tronic. Awesome. Look at the back here. Shows a screenshot of the game. Continuous boss battle for one player used with joystick controller. Greetings, Star Pilot. The Intergalactic Federation is under attack from a massive threat. The Intergalactic Federation needs you to intercept these Gugantian monstrosities one-on-one. -on -one. They have the size advantage, but you have tenacity and cunning on your side. Please, Star Pilot, you're our only hope. Face the menace and save the Intergalactic Federation. <laughs> awesome. It's got a nice box. Went all out with this on the, on the Indiegogo campaign. So inside the box, of course, we have this little holder thing there. Get that out of the way. We have the cartridge, which is a full color label, which I love that. That's awesome. Here's the end label. Boss. <laughs> what else we got here? Now this is cool. Here's the mission briefing manual, Project Boss. And of course, it's full color. Really awesome. So we got some game credits here. Original game and concept design and program by Jason Santucci for Gemini, Gemini Tronic back in 2015. Wow. Pretty cool. Oh, look, we got a little story here. Azalius Neon Fighter Pilot. New Earth is under attack from a massive threat. The fact that you have been issued this Z2 command already tells you that we are already at war. You men and women are the very best of the Galactic Federation. It falls on your shoulders to intercept these Gorgantra monsters one on one. Awesome. Commanding Officer Chance Steele. <laughs> oh, I like that little logo up there. That's kind of cool. Oh, wow. The X-86 Soul Preserver. Full tactical load. Awesome. They, they did a really good job with this. I'm pretty impressed with it. Even give you a high score table back here. That's pretty cool. All right. So, let's uh, plug this in the old Atari and give the game a go. Awesome. Gemintronic. Awesome. Buzz. This is pretty cool. Holy cow, look at the size of this guy. Ooh, ooh. Get him. Get him. Now, unfortunately, I really don't know how to play this game. I just know to shoot the boss. And I'm assuming you shoot these little nubbins sticking down. And I think there on the right-hand side, that bar, that red bar you'll see will go down. Every once in a while, when I actually destroy the boss, I hit him. I'm not sure what those things are flying down the screen now. Unfortunately, the manual didn't really give any kind of gameplay description. So I'm not for sure. I do know the power bar on the left is your health. You want to avoid that thing coming flying down the screen. Oh, oh. I imagine you just gotta keep hitting the boss. It takes so many shots to do it. You gotta avoid his shots coming down. They move so slow. So you actually get trapped on one side of the screen or the other if you're not careful. It's a big boss. He's huge. Now if I do hit one of these bars, you'll see how it takes down my, my health. Same with that thing there. I think it's just something they added in just to give an extra... Uh... Wow, there's two bosses I've I beat so far. Oh, look, this little guy. He's just a little bush. He's too tiny. 
Yeah, that's just meant to. Whoa! Whoa! Gotta stay away from those little shots. It's not too bad of a game. I mean, it's 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 kind of cool. Oh, this guy's hard to kill. Oh, there we are. I got a good hit. Don't shoot that little nubbin right there. Ooh. Get him, get him, get him. Uh-oh. Ooh, I gotta stay away from those. Ooh, no. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Ooh, that was close. No. Got me. Oh, hit me. Yeah, got him. Who's next? Holy moly! He's huge! Oh, he's got a triple shot. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's not good. I've got to hide out between... The oh, no! Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Definitely gets kind of challenging the higher levels you get into. Paying attention. Come on. How many shots can you take? Yeah. Oh, back to a smaller boss. Oop. Hasn't dropped a health bar yet. Oh, there we go. Got one health bar down. Wasn't counting my shots. I, I, I wonder if it's uh, if you count how many shots it takes to get the first health bar to drop. That's how many shots it's going to take to finish them off. I wonder if that's like the halfway point. I wasn't I wasn't counting. I think I'll try to count on the next one once I destroy this guy. If I'm able to destroy this guy. Whoa! I would say not because I think I've hit him more. This time that I did the first time, the bar dropped. We will see. We'll try it on this one. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, four, five, six, six, seven, eight. Well, this one's being a little tricky. Oh, come on. I can't get. Whoa! Can't get over there, man. He's just, he's just hiding out in the middle. I'm going to have to go through. We got to sacrifice ourselves. Oh, I wasn't counting again. Oh, this one's going to be a hard one to do. Ooh. Now, come on over here. I dare you. Get over here. Look at this guy. He's just hiding out. Get underneath. Oh, got too far. There we go. There we go. Let's put hits in. Oh no. I'm trying to hide underneath these shots here. Oh! Man, that little droppy thing. I'm not even sure what that is. Oh, come on. Oh, this is going to be a harder boss to defeat. There we go. Oh, oops. Get over there. Oh! Oh, I'm almost dead. Get him. Get him. Get some hits in. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. Come on. Yes! Awesome. 
guy's going a little faster. Uh-oh. Uh, ooh. Oh, this isn't, oh, this isn't good. Yikes. Oh, got around the corner. Oh, man, there's no place to hide. Oh, there we go. There's a spot. Oh. Stay right here. Oops. Oh, no. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get down here. Get down here. There we go. Whoa. Oh, man. Game over, man! <laughs> Alright, now there was actually an earlier version of this game that Gemmatronic did as part of the Neo Flash Retro Coding Contest back in 2012. They called the game back then Cyber Willy. I like that name better. <laughs> but enter this game as part of the contest. There is a ROM you can download to play Cyber Willy. And it's basically the same game. It's a boss fight, just like boss. But the graphics are a little bit different. So, let's check out Cyber Willy. Press fire. Go! I like the little Cyber Willy character. He looks like a little ghost. <laughs> That's pretty funny. But you can see it's the exact same game as Boss. Just the graphics are a little bit different for the player. And for that thing that's flying down the screen. It looks like a fireball. Or a meteor. In Cyber Willy here. Now, I think that would have made more sense for the boss game instead of that, whatever that was that was flying down the screen. There's no real description of what the character, what that is. It looks like, well, I've seen some people refer to it as a cosmic train or something like that. But I think a meteor would have been a lot better choice. I like that fireball animation. It's kind of cool. I mean, it's still a pretty fun game. So if you missed out on the Indiegogo campaign to get yourself a copy of Boss, you know you can always go download Cyber Willy. And basically, it's the same game. Uh, you can also do a graphics hack if you wanted to and change the Cyber Willy. Oh, change the Cyber Willy character into a spaceship or whatever you want to do. This is kind of cool. So this gives you a chance to give the game a try if you missed out on the Boss game. Anyway, that was Boss by Gemintronic. Thanks for watching. Die, you frickin' boss scum. Grr, grr.